Hi, so here we are going to prove Seva's theorem. Mr. Abhin Kumar from Canada requested me to make a video on the proof of Seva's theorem. So in Seva's theorem, if we have triangle ABC, and suppose if there is a point P in the same plane as ABC, and if I draw lines AP, BP, and CP, and extend these lines, and they cut the opposite sides at point D, E, and F respectively, then AF divided by FP multiplied by BD divided by DC multiplied by CE divided by EA will be equal to 1. So this is Seva's theorem and the lines AP, BP and CP are called Sevaians. So to prove it I have drawn this triangle again and I have also drawn lines BQ and CR which are parallel to line AD and then I have extended the CF to join this parallel line at point Q and I have also extended BE till point R to join this another parallel line. So if I take this triangle and this triangle, these two triangles are similar triangles where this angle is equal to this angle, vertically opposite angle and this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle. So here triangle F E P is similar to triangle FPQ. So the ratios of corresponding sides will also be same. So the ratio AF to FP will be equal to AP to PQ. And now I want ratios in terms of PD and DC. So this triangle is similar to this bigger triangle. Okay. So you can say triangle BDP is similar to triangle BCR. Or you can say BD, ratio of BD to BC will be equal to the ratio of PD to CR. Let me call this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2. So here we got an equation in terms of BD and now we try to find the equation in terms of DC. So here we will compare this triangle that is triangle CDP and this triangle that is triangle CBQ. Both of them are are similar triangles that means ratio of DC to BC will be equal to PD divided by QB or you can write it as PC divided by DC is equal to QB divided by PD. Let me call this as equation number 3 and now we want an equation in terms of CE and EA so I'll compare this triangle and this triangle. Here also this angle is equal to this angle vertically opposite angles and this angle is equal to this angle alternate angles between two parallel lines so remaining angle will also be equal and these two triangles will be similar so we can say triangle ECR is similar to triangle EAP or you can say EC divided by AE the ratio of these two sides will be equal to CR divided by EP. Let me call this as equation number 4 and now let us multiply all these four equations. So I'll get AF divided by FB which was equal to AP divided by BQ multiplied by the second equation I'll get BD divided by BC this will be equal to I have to multiply the right hand side to the right hand side PD divided by CR and then I have to multiply the third equation which is equal to BC divided by DC is equal to QB divided by PD so multiplied by BC divided by DC and this was equal to QB divided by PD and the fourth equation was EC divided by AE is equal to CR divided by AP. EC divided by AE is equal to CR divided by AP. So here this BC will cancel this BC, this AP will cancel this AP, CR will cancel this CR, this PQ and QB are equal in length so they will cancel each other, PD will cancel this PD. So we will get AF divided by FP multiplied by BD divided by DC multiplied by EC divided by AE is equal to 1. So this is the proof when the point P is inside the triangle and there are possibilities when this point P is outside the triangle. So that picture will look something like this 
and using this picture also you can prove this Seva's theorem. The nomenclature on this drawing is exactly same as the drawing which I have used earlier. So you can try proving Seva's theorem using this drawing also. So that's all for this video and for many many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.